Hey everyone, welcome to Green Lane Off-Road. My name's Donovan and today we're going to be installing one of our roof racks on our brand new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. To begin the installation, we're going to start by removing the four plastic covers located in the gutter using a plastic pry tool. Next, we're gonna feel around in the gutter uh, and depress through this plastic protection tape to feel the round holes. Then we'll slice it with our knife and underneath these are threaded holes where we'll mount our gutter blocks to. Next, we're gonna install a small amount of regular household silicone on the bottom side of the gutter block, just around the two mounting holes. Next, we're gonna take two of the stainless steel M6 socket head cap screws with a stainless washer and a little bit of never seize on the threads. Insert them into the top of the gutter block. Line them up over the holes in the roof and tighten them down using a five millimeter Allen key. These just need to be snug. Don't go crazy tightening them down. Repeat the process for the three other gutter blocks. Next, we're gonna mount the rack angle brackets to the gutter block using the three quarter inch stainless button head cap screws. And we'll just install these loosely to start with. We want to make sure we leave a little bit of movement in them for adjusting the rack once it's in final place. Repeat this for the other three brackets. Next we're going to install one of the side rails using the one inch long button head cap screws with a washer on both sides and a nylock nut. We'll just install one bolt loosely on the front and rear for now to hold it in place. And then we'll install the other two. We're gonna leave all of the hardware loose on the whole rack until all the parts are installed. Then we'll go around and tighten everything down uh, to complete the install. After you've got your one side rail on, we'll do exactly the same on the other side. Next, we're gonna install the middle crossbar. This is easiest with two people, but if you only have one, uh, if you put a rag or a blanket on the far side of the roof, you can rest the crossbar on it while you install the three quarter inch button head bolts with a washer on the opposite side. Now you can go ahead and install the two bolts on the opposite side, remembering to leave them loose as we'll tighten everything down once the complete rack is assembled. If you ordered a roof rack with an air dam that has a light bar cut out, the front crossbar is going to have a slot on the bottom side to mount your light bar. Make sure this one gets installed at the very front of the rack. Make sure you install four of the supplied T-nuts in the very front slot. These are going to be for bolting down the air dam. Before you get started with your installation, Locate the four 5 8 long 5 16 bolts. These have to be used to mount the air dam as the 3 quarter inch ones will be too long and bottom out on the crossbar. Next, we'll loosely install our 5 8 long button heads 
with washers into the T-nuts that we just installed into the crossbar. After these are loosely fitted, we can spread them out along the length of the crossbar and these will be used to mount the air dam. Next, we're gonna install our air dam one side at a time by sliding it under the bolts we just installed with the washers on top. Next, we're gonna install the one inch bolts through the side rail and the air dam with a washer on both sides and a nylock nut. Next, we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down. We'll start with the front side air dam bolts, followed by the top air dam bolts, followed by all of the crossbars on both sides. Then we're gonna do the side rail mounts to the angle brackets. And lastly, the bolts going from the angle bracket into the roof. go around and double check all of your fasteners and the roof rack install is complete.